Hey, look, another diagram problem. All right, let's see what we've got here. Antarctica is roughly semicircular. Is that true? With a radius of 2,000 kilometers, according to figure 1-5 here, problem 9. The average thickness of its ice cover is 3,000 meters. How many cubic centimeters of ice does Antarctica contain? Ignore the curvature of the Earth. All right, well, that last bit makes this problem much... Makes our lives much easier. All right, so how do we get a semicircle? Well, you don't actually need to know a formula for the semicircle, but uh, if you know what a semicircle is, that's more than enough. It's just half a circle. So what you really should know is what the area of a circle is, or I guess volume of a circle in this case. So it's more of a cylinder, really, in that case, because we've got to deal with depth as well. So, if we're dealing with like a, a z-axis here, I guess, which is basically what we're given, then that's what the volume is going to be. So, everyone knows, or at least everyone should know, the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. Jesus, that's a terrible r. And so, by that same tangent, if, it's, if we're going to be given an additional level of thickness, then it becomes sort of like a semi, then it becomes sort of like a cylinder a bit. Where the volume is then equal to uh, for the for the sill is equal to pi r squared, but times the height or the depth or just generally whatever you want to use for z, for the the z axis. I'll just write down z, I guess, since we're not really given a specific phrasing here. But we're looking for a semicircle, so it's going to be halved anyway. So instead, it's going to be more like a semi-cylinder. So then it's going to be more like pi r squared times z. And the whole thing is over a big fat 2 to have it. Alright, so now we have our little formula. We just got to plug in the values. But our, val our numbers are all given in uh, different units. The question, however, asks for cubic centimeters. So let's convert to that. So first, let's solve for our radius here. And our, our radius is given as 2,000 kilometers. But we must convert into cubic centimeters. So let's convert to meters. I'll do this the slow and simple way. The, the easy way you should do it if you want to make sure you're not making mistakes. So that's one kilometer is 10 to the third meters. And to confer from meters to centimeters, that's one meter to 10 to the two, 10 squared centimeters. And all that is going to be equal to about 2,000 kilometers times 10 to the fifth centimeters. All right. Now let's get our, our thickness, our z. Let's get that in there. Oh, Jesus. So then z is going to be equal to our 3,000 meters. And let's just convert right into centimeters. That's 10 squared centimeters over 1 meter. Our little conversion factor there. Which gets us 3,000 times 10 to the 2 centimeters. So now we have all the values that we really need here. So now let's plug it in for final volume. So our volume is then equal to the formula we have up here. So that will be pi times the radius squared. So the radius is 2,000 times 10 to the fifth centimeters. Now the thing is squared times the z, times the height, times the depth. So 3,000 times 10 squared centimeters. And this whole thing is halved. And plugging this into your calculator, the answer you should get is that this is all equal to 1.9 times 10 to the 22 cubic centimeters.